In this video, we'll be solving for an indicated variable. Our problem that we'll be working with is to solve v equals one-third pi r squared h for r. So our first thing that we need to do is to locate the variable that we're solving for. So in this case, we're solving for r, and it's only in this one spot. So my process that I'll use to solve for r is to remove this factor and the pi factor and the h factor first. So my first um, thing that I'm going to do, instead of just dividing by all of these factors since they're multiplied, I'm going to remove this one-third factor first. And the way I'm going to do that is by multiplying both sides of the equation by 3. So these threes will cancel, and I have 3v is equal to, now I just have pi r squared h. And again, remember I'm solving for r, so let's remove the pi and the h. Since they're multiplied, I can divide both sides by pi times h. Um, on the right side, the pi's cancel and the h's cancel, and I'm left with just r squared. And then on the left side, I have 3v divided by pi h. My next step then is to remove this exponent. Since it's squared, I'll need to square root both sides. And the square root and the square are inverse operations, and I have just r on the right side. And on the left side, the square root property says that I should have plus or minus uh, on the square root. So I'll write that, but then notice that this is actually the volume of a cone. Um, One-third pi r squared h is the formula for volume of a cone. And when you have an application with the real-life value in it, you can't have a radius which is negative. So the negative is actually not useful in this problem. Our only other thing that we would do with this is to rationalize the denominator. So let me break this radical into two separate radicals. I have the square root of 3v in the numerator, and then the square root of pi h in the denominator. Remember that in order to rationalize the denominator, you multiply top and bottom by the radical. So we'll multiply by square root of pi h in the top and the bottom. This then gives me r is equal to the square root of 3v pi h over, and then the square root times itself will just give me a pi h in the denominator.